Kia ora, I'm Lucy and I'm presenting the Ideal Alliance strategy for AgriFit. AgriFit is a Czech conglomerate holding company founded in 1993, whose headquarters reside in Prague, Czech Republic. AgriFit has over 250 subsidiaries, focusing on seven diverse lines. They are the largest subject of Czech and Slovak agriculture and food processing. The agricultural line utilises extensive machinery and equipment, land and employees in production. Their food processing line has 59 production plants with 16,500 employees. The competitors of AgriFit typically are large conglomerates who also acquire unrelated smaller companies. The change in legislation passed in 2017 forced the founder and current Prime Minister, Andrei Babis, to transfer ownership of the company to Trust Fund. The conglomerate has a strong alliance appetite that has made them a world leader. Recent acquisitions have resulted in negative stigma. After acquiring MFRA Media House, the publisher of the country's daily newspapers, there was a mass resignation and reorganisation. People did not want to work for an active politician. The high amount of resources in many sectors would make AgriFit an appealing conglomerate to have an alliance with. AgriFit also has sectors which would value extra resources and capabilities from other companies. An alliance for AgriFit could take the following three forms. They could split the companies up, form a non-equity alliance with another company, or acquire a company. But the first option, the split. The conglomerate lines would split, resulting in many smaller companies which have heterogeneous focuses. The smaller companies will need a new structure, new equipment and management in order to have full control over the company. This mitigates the issues such as the low focus on each of the 250 companies, the employee dissatisfaction with the current process and the stickiness of long-term investors. The conglomerate could also form a non-equity alliance with a telecommunication conglomerate, Comcast. AgriFit will share their unique resources and capabilities in the technologies and media sector with Comcast and increase Comcast presence in the Chinese and European market. AgriFit will have access to Comcast's world-leading broadcasting and cable television skills and resources. Finally, the conglomerate could acquire Blue Focus Communication Group Co. Ltd, a marketing and brand management services company in China. The company focuses on a broad range of disciplines that are also related to AgriFit's and Blue Focus is also of a similar size to the companies that AgriFit has acquired in the past. This would merge primarily with AgriFit's media line in order to strengthen their media presence. Splitting the conglomerate will be the favourable option. The conglomerate will split into six companies, each based on their speciality, their lines. All subsidiary companies will remain under their original line. The two largest lines, agricultural and food processing, will remain a conglomerate. This will allow for the smaller lines to have new management, new resources, visions and culture to ensure they have full control of their company, whilst focusing on themselves and their growth. The smaller companies will be able to follow new directions. The remaining two lines will also stay together as they are complementary services and do not only cater for investors desiring stability, but they will continue to share their resources and their support. The conglomerate will have to announce a split and decide whether they will buy back the shares off investors at their value or split the current shares among the split companies. The conglomerate will need a plan for a clean sweep change of the structure for all the companies and not have an ongoing change. This means planning for the change of governance for each of the lines. There will also need to be a plan for the hike in investment requirements for new infrastructure, resources, equipment, etc. There is a need to plan for employees coming and leaving, along with plans to deal with negative employee reactions. There is a need to focus on consumerism during the life process in order to maintain customer value. AgriVet also needs to understand the legal rights of the companies during the split and the rights of the people affected by the split. There is a possibility that the Board of Directors and shareholders disapprove of the split. Therefore, there must be a plan set in order to not only sway the Board of Directors, but also the shareholders, depending on the company's constitution, or if the Board of Directors are unwilling. Finally, the plan needs to be realistic, but have backup paths to follow if there were to be any internal or external influences. The benefits associated with the split include the companies are now smaller and will be able to focus on their own visions and values with their own management so they can achieve the same goal. There will be an increase in the company's ability to form networks and grow at a faster rate. Bad publicity will no longer affect the masses of the companies. And high risk investors are more likely to invest so they will be likely to accept big changes in strategies that project growth. And the investors who are more interested in specific markets are likely to have the same beliefs and investing styles. There are some risks and downsides associated with the split. There is a high initial cost of splitting. The companies will need to spend time organising the split, spend money on the employees, infrastructure, new roles and a new plan to grow their smaller conglomerate. Low risk investors are likely to dislike the split. Smaller companies may not have the support when financial or environmental difficulties are at hand. There is a chance that companies will fail once they are split as they do not have the support of the other companies, their access to resources, equipment or investors. Thank you for watching. I look forward to hearing about the success of the split.